Okay, uh, today I got something kind of fun for you. Just up at the gallery, and uh, while I was up here, I thought I'd do a quick uh, view on uh, some more letterpress things. This is going to be more on the type. Um, now, uh, if you're not super familiar, these are the letters and things you have to use in order to print things. So, like here, I'll show you. Like, so, if you're making a word to put into the letterpress, you have to use letters like these. And so, you spell out your words, you know, D, E, S, and then you put these in the in the thing and you latch it down, and then that would, you know, what would make your impressions when you put the paint to it is the letters. So this is kind of just like a quick little overview on some of the things we got here. Um, like I said, I'm not super familiar with all this, and I'm still learning. Um, and as somebody like to say, we do have books on this. And in one of the last videos, somebody said to read, and well, he said, I know I need to do a lot of it. But uh, so for types, like you can see there's all sorts of different uh, points. So like. 72 point, this is like 60 point, uh, 48 point, things like that. Now exactly what the point means, I don't know. But you know, if like if you're in your computer and you're doing your uh, word or whatever and they ask you like the points, that's where this is all from. So when the points should kind of combine with these. So when you're in your computer doing, you know, 42 point, well, that's what that came from was this 42 point here. And so this is kind of cool too, I'll kind of show you this one. It's an old uh, foundry, uh, type foundry out of Detroit, Detroit type foundry. And you can kind of see here, it has all the different fonts and, this, and the pricing and the sizes available. You know, so if you want your radiant bold, you can get it in the 12 point and whatever the scheme means and then the font and caps and, well, I, again, I don't know what any of that stuff means, but the pricing and, so that's kind of cool, and you can get like decorative materials here, stars and little clouds, and it's all again all very kind of decoy, which I like. And so our characters and things like that. So that's pretty much what this cabinet is full of is type. So as you can see, like here we still have some original uh, Detroit Foundry here in its packaging, and this is ten point uh, Kennedy uh, italic. Uh, 26A, I guess. I'm not sure what that means. And then we have this one, another one. Uh, again, uh, Kennedy Italic 10 point lowercase letters. And we got some of these other ones here. Grand B. And so then, like, all of these are just full of different types, different sizes. So, like, these are tiny little guys. Just, uh, I'm not sure you can be able to see that. It's a super tiny type there. There's that one. And then if you go down to here, we got some bigger ones. And again, a lot of the stuff we haven't even sorted through yet. Uh, we need to spend a day or two and do that, but especially because like a lot of this is old and it's all probably lead. So I just have to be a little careful when you're kind of handling it. Um, again, I mean, it's not doing anything too crazy here, but yeah, so again, just uh, cam it there. And then somebody else asked about different plates we got. And we don't have a ton, but we do have some over here. So like, uh, here's like a, a steam ship one, which is cool. And then we got this one, which is really cool. It's this briny deep cut lunch. And as you can see, um, this is for some kind of fish snacks. It contains, you know, herring, onions, uh, distilled vinegar, sugar, salt, and spices. So that's pretty cool. And then we got, this one's cool too, this is like a counter. So if you wanted to do um, like, a, like a number, like a, like a you know, number one of whatever, or two, you can put this in there and each time you print one, it'll change the number. So the first one you print would be one and then the second one would be two and it'll actually be stamped with the number. So that's kind of a cool thing to have. And then we got a few other ones down here. This is some more of the decorative things, so like bells and stuff. Uh, Florida Lees, um, got some little like marching band guys over here. Get those into focus. And so my favorite ones, it's uh, let's see if we can't get these guys in here. The Laughing Bear from Bear Automotive, which some people may be more familiar with them as the Grateful Dead logo. But this was from a Bear Automotive uh, logo first. I think it goes back to like the 20s maybe, 20s, 30s. But yeah, those are cool to have. Like I said, I, I really like those ones quite a lot. Then you get some fun ones like these over here. Like 
this is a important notice and this is kind of cool too as you can see like this is like a fancy letter well if you kind of come back this way you see like I, i'm not really sure this move the cloister you can kind of see it's just like that one it's almost the same size too so this would probably be something so if you think about like this stamp would be the same size as that letter there so to do this book, you need to put this, like a letter this size there, and then all those little ones, like from those first cabinets there. So you can kind of see like how kind of complex it is to set some of these up and some of the different type fonts and things. And it's just kind of fascinating to me. So yeah, so hopefully in the new year, we'll be doing more of this. Like I said, we got a lot of sorting to do. But I mean, we got, you know, boxes and things of, uh, like uh, this is Stevenson Blake, Caslon letter foundry from Sheffield who I got some scissors from and uh, I think a nice knife too so we got some of this stuff over here and like I said and then some of these books too it's kind of fun so like I said these are some of the books we got to read and this is kind of cool so like you see like printing on the iron hand press you know it's like those old big ones that you just kind of got to like crank down and squish on which actually if I remember yeah we even got a this one here is a little plate of a person doing that exact same thing. So that this this is that you know that picture is kind of like this right here of a person cranking down on one of those iron hand presses. So yeah, so again, this is kind of uh, just the, the type fonts and things of a letter press and all the stuff we get into later. So I know this isn't really all that informative in terms of actual knowledge because I don't know much, but you know, still it's pretty cool just to kind of see you know, the letters and how they actually had to do all this stuff back in the day. Just, you know, putting all these things together and latching it down and putting in the machines and, you know, each page in a book, like a page like this, would take probably just like hours upon hours to put together. And that's just one page and you think of all the pages and all these books. It's just fascinating. So, anyway, this was kind of cool and kind of show you just some of the letters and things we got to do and so the old screwdrivers, as you've seen a different video, and the diamond uh, pliers there we got. So, so we actually do have these things out, and we do use them. So, anyway, that's it. Just a quick one today. Thanks. Bye.